Hello there. So, uh, this is week three of Koi Flowers. We started off in week one creating our flowers petal by petal with just one hand such that we could then put together flowers made up of two petals and then in spin flowers made up of four petals. Last week we covered how to put our hands together into same time, same direction flowers and same time opposites flowers. Now originally I had intended this week to be uh, a tutorial on both split time same direction and split time opposites, but I can't get both of them in under uh, 15 minutes unfortunately. So this week is just going to be on split time same direction and then next week is going to be on split time opposites, yeah? Uh, so away we go. Um, same time, same direction, same time opposites uh, feel fundamentally very natural to us in that our hands are really doing just about the same action at the same time, regardless of which direction the poise is going. When we switch into a split time kind of place, whether it is same direction or opposites, this is the first time that our hands are really experiencing the challenge of uh, trying to do something slightly different uh, at the same time, right? And honestly, when it comes right down to it, learning split time, same direction is one of those mountains that you have to climb as a beginner. And it just is going to take hours and hours of practice in front of a mirror or any other reflective surface that you can find checking yourself to make sure that you're staying in it. Um, I do know a few tricks that will help you at least put the flowers together. Um, but just know that this is work that you're, you're, you're going to have to really do in the coming months in order to make it work no matter what the move is that you're doing. And I mean, I've been doing this now for almost five years, and there are still times when I find uh, my split time, same direction kind of falling apart. Uh, so it's just, it, it's one of those things that we wrestle with as, as poi spinners. Um, but in trying to put together flowers with split time, same direction, we can start with moves that we know that are utilized uh, this time and direction combination, one of which is the 3D lead. Another one is the much reviled buzzsaw. Now, a lot of tech spinners are really down on buzz saws, but uh, I think they actually serve a very, very useful purpose in, in teaching split time same direction flowers. So we're going to start off with uh, a buzz saw going forwards, wherein your arms are going to be as far away from your body as they can get. And you're going to pick one hand, I don't care which one. I'm going to use my left hand because it's the one closest to the camera. And what you're going to do is the next time uh, that poi is about to go around, you're going to reach back around and execute a big old extension with it, right? And you're trying to land back in a place where the two poi are synchronized back into split time same direction. Yeah? As with all things, you want to work on this until you can get it ten times in a row pretty solidly, not losing your timing. And then we're going to throw a little bit of a monkey wrench into it. I'm going to have you add a pedal when that hand is back behind you. So you're reaching down and around, pedal, up and over, back into buzzsaw. Down and around, pedal, up and over, back into buzzsaw, right? Now, you'll notice that the first way we're doing this, just doing an extension, both of the poi were completing a beat at the same time. This is still going to be the case when we add this pedal, which means that now uh, whichever hand is not doing the pedal is going to have to do two beats in order to complete the pattern, right? Okay, so if you can do that ten times without uh, keeping it relatively clean, it's time to bring the other hand into it. And I'm going to reach back and around to start with, back and around, back and around, and then when you get 10 of those cleanly, you're going to add the pedal again, this other hand. Now for those of you who have been following this series since the first day, you'll know that this is actually the same technique we've been using all along. I'm building up a flower, one pedal, and then two pedals. 
It just so happens to be that I'm trying to keep it in tandem with another hand, right? If you've got this on both sides, your next challenge is to come back to this place where you're doing two pedals. And when you open up, hold it. Hold that timing as long as you can. See if you can get 10 beats in. You can check yourself by seeing the poi kind of trying to slip past each other in the middle right here. If you're doing same time, same direction, you'll see one come up and then one come down. There'll be a delay between them, right? Whereas when they're going split time, same direction, the one's going up and the one's going down simultaneously. So if I were to say, you know, stick a bar out straight from my chest, both of the poi heads would hit it on their way through simultaneously, right? When you're able to hold this open for 10 beats, once again, you're going to switch back to the other hand and hold it open for 10 beats. Sweet. If you've gotten that far, it's time to start building up the actual flower. Um, the way I do this is going from uh, a place of starting off in split time, same direction extensions, which um, the arms, it feels like you're doing the crawl stroke, right? Um, almost everyone I know who, when they first try this move, do it from a place where they like put their feet straight together and their bodies like ramrod straight and the results are not terribly attractive. Um, starting off, start from a good solid base on this. Um, I usually do this from like kind of a narrow bow stance place. So my left foot is facing straight ahead of me. My right foot is kind of off at a 45 degree angle. And I'm putting about 70% of my weight into my left foot and about 30% of my weight into my right foot. My hips are pretty even between my two feet. And really, you should be able to orient this such that uh, your hips are, are, are kind of square against the wall. And as if, if you're able to do this, A, it provides a much more stable base for you to be going through split time same direction with. And B, you'll get a very lovely stretch through your shoulder when you reach the, uh, the, the position where your body is slightly twisted, yeah? Uh, note as I'm doing this that my torso is kind of rocking back and forth. This is going to keep you from hurting your shoulders as you do this. Uh, any kind of movement where your hand goes back behind your shoulders rather than straight out from them is bad news. That's, that's how you get injuries. So, coming from this split time, same direction kind of place with my extensions, once again, I'm going to pick a side, and I'm going to say, okay, every time I turn towards my left side, I'm going to execute a pedal, and then go back into my extensions. Pedal, extensions. Pedal, extensions. Pedal, extensions. You'll note that as I'm doing this, I'm always taking the poi into a wall plane kind of place. Yes? Um, the reason for this just is, is that visually it allows you to do that check real quick to make sure that they're, they're phased properly. Um, when you work your way through, you can also do them both in real plane. I, I personally don't care. I just think that this is easy for beginners to kind of check at work. Yeah? Um, so as you're executing this, you're then going to switch to doing the other side as well. And once again, keep on practicing it until you can get 10 beats on each side cleanly. Chain them together, and congratulations, you are now doing two pedal, split time, same direction, in spin flowers. Awesome. Um, you're going to notice as you're doing this, when, when you get your timing done on, that you know if you're in a same time, same direction kind of place, it's the kind of thing that your hands are both going up and down at the same time. But when you're in that split time kind of place, and this is a really big exaggeration of the motion, it's almost like you're a seesaw. So like imagine somebody had like put a big old long staff behind you and kind of strapped your arms to it. Um, as you execute this, your hands essentially stay straight out from your shoulders and they're going to tilt back and forth. They're on a boat or something, you know? Rocking back and forth. 
Um, like I said, that's a huge exaggeration of what the movement is, but it's going to feel like that. When, once you get it really down, all of that motion becomes isolated down to your wrists and your hands. Um, but just know that it's going to feel kind of like that when you've got your timing on as you go through this. Cool. So now it's time for us to work on our uh, top and bottom pedals, right? Now as I'm going forward, um, I'm going to have moments when my left hand is on top and moments when my right hand is on top, yeah? And the moment when my left hand is on top uh, is when I'm coming out of facing to my left side. The moment when my right hand is on top is when I'm coming out of facing to my right side, yes? So that means that I need to train my left hand being on top on my left side and my right hand being on bottom. And then my left hand being on bottom on my left side and my right hand being on top, right? Okay, that's a mouthful. How do we, how, 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 how do we train this? Um, let's start off with left hand on top, yeah? So this is going to happen when I'm kind of faced off to this side. The trick is, though, is that I'm going to want to do it with my right hand either behind me or off to my right hand side. Um, start off from this place where your arms are split apart and you're executing that split time, same direction kind of feel thing, right? And what I'm going to have you do is move it around such that one hand is up and one hand is down. Try and maintain the same timing. At first, you're going to switch back into same time, same direction. If you need to, tilt your body over to kind of check and see. Since you've trained this position, your body should know roughly what this feels like. Gravity is going to make it feel a little bit odd, but when you check it from this angle, it, uh, it, it, it should start coming back down together. And then you can switch your body back into that vertical place, right? Also, visually, you can check and see that position wherein the two poi heads look like they're going to run into each other, right? Now, once you're here, with that right hand, we're going to take a cue from uh, the first series of videos I did on poi turns, and you're going to tic-tac that right hand in front of you and behind you. And the trick here is that you're going to try and maintain that split time feel all the way through. So you get that moment to check it when it's in front of you, and switch it back to the other side, right? And after this feels all right, you're going to stop here with your right hand pull behind you, and see if you can hold your timing for 10 beats. If you're there, awesome. You're, you're, you're halfway to being done. The other one we're going to work with, of course, is having the right hand on top. Once again, you can check it on the side to make sure that your timing is on. Come back to the vertical place. Look for that position where the two poi heads look like they're going to run into each other in the middle. And now with the right hand up top, you're going to tic-tac it back and forth again, right? And check and make sure that your timing is dead on when you come back to the original side. And then stop it with your right hand on your right side. Try and keep your timing and direction consistent for 10 beats. And once you get that down, switch between them. And this is hard. This is really hard. The vertical pedals, honestly, were the, the hardest part for me in learning how to do this. You can always come back to this position and check yourself if it feels unstable. But once you can get to a place where these are feeling relatively stable, that you can do 10 reps of them without uh, any kind of difficulties, it's time to add the side pedals in, which you remember how to do this whole time, right? And once you're there, ta-da, you have your fourth pedal, split time, same direction, instant flower. Congratulations. Cool. So next week we'll talk about uh, split time opposites, which I think is actually slightly easier than split time same direction. And the week after that we'll talk a little bit about anti-spin. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, have yourselves a great week, and I will see you next Friday. Peace.